Hi, in this video I'm going to take you through a new tool that's part of Yumi 1.04 and that's the Prefab Sampler. Uh, if we go to Window, Uponic, we'll find the new Prefab Sampler tool there. It's something we can dock, so let's dock it down here. First thing you probably want to do is open up the uh, configuration. So let's click on this. Uh, we've got a few things we can do. We can set our Prefab Destination folder. I'm going to select that now as prefabs and then we've got a thing called a uh, pivot setting at the moment we're going to leave this to selection ground but there's three different options uh, that's zero in the Y selection ground or selection middle uh, I'll show the different settings and how you might want to play with those as you're picking your prefabs in your scene finally we can append a name to these so um, let's just append upo right so now we can see this prefab folder is updated. What exactly is a prefab sampler? Well, a lot of assets that you get from the asset store, um, they're built in such, such a way to be incredibly modular. So they're built up from little different pieces. So if we take a look at this fence here, we can see it looks like one solid piece, but it's actually built from five different pieces. Now what we can do with a prefab sampler is select all of these different Oh, come on, pieces. And then what we can do is click on sample prefab. And that creates a new object here. And if we drag that in, we've got a full copy of that, which uh, we can then maybe either just use as uh, something for quickly creating levels if we always want to use that kind of configuration of objects, or we can also import into the Yumi map editor. So let's take another look at a few different things here. So we can include anything in the scene. So if I can try and select that particle system, that bloom, and this is where I wish I was using a more up-to-date version of Unity. Yeah, the selection tools are much better in 5.5. Uh, um, so let's select that prefab. Now we have a copy of the tomb along with the particle system. Uh, and the bloom coming out of it. I'll just delete these for now. So let's take a look over here. Uh, let's grab this light, this bloom, and this object. And this is where I'm going to show you how selection plane stuff uh, can, can change how you might want to select objects. So if we sample this prefab, you can see from here that the light has got a very big radius. And what um, selecting on the ground plane is going to do is going to find the bottom of that light. So if we select this and drag it in, you're going to see it hovers with the light effectively being the ground plane. So let's delete that and try selecting those again. And this time I'm going to use selection 0y. So that's uh, anything on basically y0. It will put it as a, at a base. If it's below that in the scene, it'll be below that as a pivot. If it's above it, it'll be above it. Um, for this, it works quite well because everything's on the zero Y. So let's do that again. Sample that prefab. Drop it in. Now it's uh, it's placed on the Y. So let's take a look at another asset. Let's take a look at Simple Town. Uh, let's open the demo scene. Uh, again, brilliant asset and built to be uh, really modular, able to um, create very varied scenes with this um, asset. But as you can see when we start clicking on things here, even things like the road are built uh, from these small modular components. So that is effectively a rotated or flipped version of that. And this is to get the most reuse out of a single asset. Now, if we wanted to build a street really quickly, and this is perfectly good for um, importing into Yumi, we can select some of these road tiles, and we can even select some signs, uh, sample that prefab, and then now, if we go over here, let's get some, drop it down to the Y, zero. So there we've got a road. Um, of course, we can rename this here, whatever we want to uh, call it. But what you can do is start building up and sampling from this scene uh, models that you'd like to combine together to then bring into Yumi as a as a tile set. There's an earlier video of this tool, a very alpha first implementation of this tool, which shows that 
in more detail. I'm trying to keep this a short video just to show that uh, something that's coming in 0 0.14 which is being submitted to the asset store today. And I, I really think uh, it, it it's a great tool for productivity and for also collecting assets together that have been built um, and, and sort of grouping them really quickly as a single prefab to be used in your level building, be that through Yumi or through just hand building a level. Okay, again, hope you find this tool useful and thanks for your time.